these joyful moments a small window into the last weekend of Susanna Brito's life before being killed in a boat crash in these same waters. She's the first um, person that we think of each morning and, and the last person before we go to sleep. Speaking publicly for the first time since the crash, Paula Brito remembers her sister as joyous and an involved mother to her three kids. She didn't just uh, send them off to play. She, she got in there, got her hands dirty. More than a year after her death, the sting of loss lingers, as do unanswered questions. Susanna was on board a boat on Lake Joseph, owned by Irv Edwards and piloted by Richard Rue. Another speedboat, driven by Linda O'Leary, wife of entrepreneur Kevin O'Leary, crashed into it. According to search warrants unsealed by CBC News, Linda had alcohol in her breath, but claims she had a drink after the crash. Rue, on the other boat, was charged with failing to exhibit navigation lights. Susanna and another passenger died from their injuries. We're in the dark. We don't have any information about what happened exactly that night. Paula even went to court to try to get details from police and prosecutors, while also filing a wrongful death lawsuit against the O'Learys, Rue and Edwards. They all filed separate motions in federal court denying responsibility for the crash and asking damages be limited to one million. Despite that, in May, the O'Learys filed a $3 million lawsuit of their own against Rue and Edwards for pain and suffering and lost earnings. All declined comment through their lawyers. I feel that there hasn't been any accountability for what happened. So it's almost like a slap in the wrist for them and a slap in the face for, for the families. No answers, no accountability, and for now, no closure. Katie Nicholson, CBC News. Toronto.